Hi class 2, welcome to English literature class. So today we are going to do the grammar time. All of you please take out page number 121. Okay. So today I am going to teach you how to join the sentences with the help of the word but. Okay. So how we will use this but. B-U-T but. So here is one sentence on the board. All of you can see, Daju can draw, but he cannot write very well. So, what is the meaning? Daju can do the drawing. Daju can draw nicely, but he cannot write very well. But his writing is not very good. So, here you can get two opposite idea. Okay. So here you can get two opposite idea. One that is Daju can draw nicely but he cannot write very well. So but, conjun but is a conjunction. Okay. When we use this but when different types of ideas we put together. Okay. Turn to page number 122. In the sentence given on the previous page, that means this sentence, these have two different ideas, okay? One is that Daju can draw nicely. Another is that he cannot write very well. So, these two are having two different ideas. So, one is an action that Daju can do and the other is an action that Daju cannot do very well. So, in this part of the sentence, Daju can do something. That is, he can do the drawing. But in this part, he cannot write very well. So, two opposite idea. Daju can draw. Another is Daju cannot write very well. So, when we want to talk about these two ideas together, we use but. So, but these two things we are not telling separately. We are telling these two part together in one sentence. So, when we are joining these two in one sentence, we have to use this but. Okay. When we want to talk about these two ideas together, we use the but to show the difference between what Daju can do and what he cannot do. But is a joining word. We usually use but when we want to connect two ideas that are different from each other. In your book, all of you please see, here are a few more examples. Jason wanted to buy play cricket, but it was raining heavily. Okay? Father baked a cake for us, but he did not eat it. So, you can see father, he baked a cake for us, but he did not eat it. It means father did not eat the cake. I like bananas, but not oranges. That means I like banana, but I don't like orange. Two opposite idea. Sunny came to school on time, but Alok was late. So, here two name of persons you can see. Sunny. Who came to school on time and another student Alok who was late to school. Okay. That means who cannot come to school on time. So, it means two opposite characters we can get. Now, in your book you see join the following sentences using but. The first one has been done for you. So, this exercise you will do in your copy. Okay. So, I am telling you how to join the sentences. First one already it is done in your book. It looked like it was going to rain. It did not rain. How you will join? It looked like it was going to rain, but it did not rain. Then number B. I like cucumbers. I do not like tomatoes. So this is same as this sentence. I like bananas, but not oranges. So how you will write? I like cucumbers, not, but not tomatoes. Okay. So how you will write? I like cucumbers but not tomatoes. Then number C. I go to school by bus. My sister cycles to school. So how you will join this sentence? I go to school by bus but my sister cycles to school. I go to school by bus but my sister cycles to school. Then sentence D. A parrot has a short beak. A spoon bill has a long beak. So, a parrot has a short beak, but 
a spoon bill has a long beak okay so you will put the but in the middle of the set these two sentence my grandmother likes coffee but my grandfather likes tea so please join the sentences and solve it in your copy and you will submit it in google classroom and i will check and check and give it to you okay and there is also another exercise in page number 123 okay so here are some words circle the words which have a silent letter okay that means few words we know that few words there some letters remains as silent we don't pronounce those letters like in page number 122 you see what are the silent letters when we say these words h o n e s t honest we don't say honest we say honest h is silent when we tell knee k n w -E, knee we are not pronouncing the k k is silent wrong r o n g wrong we are pronouncing but w is silent so when we say them aloud we say honest knee and wrong respectively we do not pronounce the letters h k and w in these words so these letters are silent so what are silent letters you can understand that in some words some letters are silent when we are pronouncing them so in page number 123 here are some list of words given in which words the letters are silent you have to circle those words so please circle the words w r i s t wrist w r i t e right k n i f e knife h o u r hour k n w -E l kneel so wrist right knife hour and kneel here we can see the silent word letters are w in wrist w r i t e right w is silent k n i f e knife k is silent h o u r hour h is silent and k n w -E l kneel k is silent but other words kitten house here this is not these letters are not silent okay so solve up to this and there is a paragraph writing you can take the help of these words which are given in this box and write a paragraph okay kanchi was wants to tell her friends that we must use the trees carefully write all that she has learned about trees in a paragraph so what are the things kanchi learned okay from um, from the trees or about the trees whatever she learned you have to write that in 8 to 10 sentences okay and you can take the help of these words which are given here in this box okay so do this writing paragraph writing in your copy okay so bye all of you